I'm Eric, and this is Two Minutes in the Hills. For over 22 years, our favorite public library has been home to our least favorite drive through The drive-up window for returning books and uh, picking up books is a little complicated now. There's a right turn that you have to make, and it kind of jeopardizes your car as far as the building is concerned. That will all change starting this fall. Work has begun on a big expansion project that will solve all that. Well, we're very excited. Today was the ground baking for the new addition that's going to be put on the library this summer. The uh, 7,200 square feet is being paid for out of the library's fund balance, and the space will be used to improve access to the library through a, an easier drive up book return. We're taking that turn out of here. It'll be a straight drive through, uh, sort of like a fast food drive through. So you'll just be able to stay in your car and reach out to the window to put the books in and another window to take the books out less hassle and hopefully less damage to cars or buildings. The drive up book return has been a problem from day one when we opened the building to over 22 years ago and people were hitting the building and one of the features of the building, I don't know that you can see it in your shot, is that we have a tugboat bumper along the edge of the building because people were hitting the building and so with the tugboat bumper people were doing less damage to the cars so this new design should totally eliminate that problem. So the big improvement everyone will notice right away is the better book return drive through But behind that window will be a lot of other technology and workflow improvements that will benefit all library users every day. Inside the building, we're going to be adding an automated materials handling system so that when people return their books to the library, they'll be checked in automatically and then sorted by the type, like adult fiction, nonfiction, and so forth. And that will help us get returned materials back onto the shelf uh, faster, and it'll be easier for uh, people to get access to materials. They can pick up books. You can call in the, the library. You can go online to the library, and you can uh, do it while you're here. Sometimes you'll find a book that you want that's not here. Uh, and you can get that through Melcat, or you can have a book put on hold, and when it comes in, you can come through the library with your vehicle and pick that book up. Our circulation is approaching two million, uh, two million items a year, so this will be a uh, significant improvement in the way we return materials. Right now, it sometimes takes us two and three days to check in return materials, so these will be checked in as soon as they're in the drop box. People today have a busy schedule, so it's uh, you don't want to get out of your car and park and go do this and do that. You can come by, grab your book, and keep rolling. The expanded interior will also allow for new services. Well, as the years have gone by, the 22 years that this building has been here, it was obviously it was big when we first built it. But as times have changed, we've had to add other things. For example, computer rooms. When it was first built, we had uh, 12 computers in the building. Now we have close to 100 computers in the building. And we have rooms uh, where there's nothing in there but computers for the public to use. That, of course, takes space from something else. Something else was in that room before. So as time has gone on, the size of the library, as big as it is, has still given us some uh, size restraints. And certain things have to be squeezed in where they can. This is going to give us a chance to expand things and move them to where they need to be and make better access for not only us, but for the public, too. For more information on this project, visit rhpl.org. Or just stop by the library and see for yourself what this jewel of the community can do for you.